everybody, I'm Liv and welcome back to my channel. So obviously you can see today this is not the most natural makeup I have ever done. It is definitely a bit more out there. And the reason I have done makeup like this is because I'm going to be showing you my take on the Unleash Your Inner Artist campaign about James Charles. I have the James Charles palette. I got it in the second like restock of on Morphe. I tried to get it the first time but it's sold out. So I have it and I am obsessed with it. And a lot of people have asked me what's my favourite look that I've created with the James Charles palette. So this is by far my favourite look I've ever created. And if you would like to see how I did it, carry on watching. So I'm going to take the LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation in the shade Fair. So next I'm taking the Collection Last Imperfection Concealer in the shade Too Cool Medium. And I am just putting that everywhere I need to conceal. Next I'm taking the RMCA No Colour Powder. Right, this is where it starts to get exciting. So I'm going to start the eyeshadow now. And I don't like starting with like a sticky base. A lot of people use primers and they start with them. But for some reason in my technique that just doesn't work for me. It always makes it seem a bit patchy. So to set my eyes, I'm going to use the shade Flashback. And I'm just going to pat that all... I went to use that as a mirror. I'm going to pat that all over my eyelid. Right, to start off, I'm going to take a big fluffy brush and take the shade Social Blade and put that on the inner part, inner part of my crease. On a new fluffy brush, I'm going to take this very bright blue shade called Playground and I'm going to put this on the outer part of my eye here. On a smaller fluffy brush, I'm going to take the darker green shade Daddy and I'm going to focus that underneath the green on the inside just to darken up the green. Now taking a small kind of denser brush, I'm going to take the dark blue shade called Cola and, and blend it out into the blue side. And finally to darken this look up anymore, I'm going to take the darkest shade here which is a black and I am going to blend that really carefully in the outer V of my eye. And now I am going to cut the crease and on the outer part of the crease I'm going to take the shade Hello and I'm going to pack that on in the blue half of the eye. And on the inner half of the eyelid, I'm going to use the shade Guap. To make the blue shimmer blend in with the matte blue, I'm going to take the shade Cape Cod. And I'm going to blend that together. To make this look a bit more exciting, I am taking the White Revolution Pro Eyeliner. And I'm going to draw a white line across the top of the cut crease to add a little bit more depth. I am now going to make a new inner corner in the centre with this eyeliner. <laughs> I am now going to take the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Milk and put that all along my waterline to make my waterline pop out. Before we move on to the lower lash line, I am going to wipe off any excess bake or fallout we've got and I'm going to do my face makeup first as we're going to bring it down slightly. So to start off I'm going to take Hoola Light, the little mini one I have, and then I'm going to take a tiny bit of my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer and just darken up anywhere that just needs to be a tiny bit darker. For blush I'm going to take my favourite br blush which is NARS Dolce Vita. For highlight I'm going to take the mini Ofra one in the shade Rodeo Drive and oh, this is gorgeous. This is one of my all-time favourite highlighters I've ever used. For the lower lash line, I'm going to start with the shade Cola on my big fluffy brush and focus that on the centre of the lower lash line and I'm slowly bringing it down to create a teardrop shape. So right now I'm looking rather like a clown, so I'm going to add some glitter and I'm using the Wild Style Glitter which is like iridescent gold stars and moons. 
and I have purposely left some gaps in these teardrops to draw stars on myself with my white eyeliner. So now I'm going to add some mascara and I'm using the Voluminous Butterfly Intenser Mascara by L'Oreal. I didn't bring any lash glue down but I knew I had some in one of my bags. <laughs> so I'm using the Disney Mini Mouse Lash. I give you so much respect if you can put on eyelashes without tweezers because I definitely can't. And the eyes are finally complete. An hour later, I am so happy with how they turned out. As this is the Unleash Your Inner Artist campaign, um, I decided to go all out and put glitter on my cheekbones. So I'm choosing the shade Brass Gold because I think it's, it's cute because it's a gold that has like blue and green right, reflectiveness in it. So I'm gonna put that on my cheekbones now. as this is a very bold look i'm gonna go with a nude lipstick uh to finish it off so i'm gonna use the dose of colors lipstick in the shade let's cuddle to finish it off i'm gonna set my face and that is it for the finished unleash your inner artist makeup campaign so I am really, really happy with how this look turned out. Um, it is one of my favourite looks that I have ever created on myself or just in general. I'm just really happy with how it turned out. And this is definitely my take on the Unleash Your Inner Artist. So if you want to see more videos like this, please don't hesitate to let me know. Also have a look on my makeup Instagram page because I have a page that I post all the different looks that I create. So if you want to follow that, it's X Live Makeup. And if you want to follow me on my normal Instagram, it's Live Pull and X. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And thank you again for watching. See you soon. Bye. Too many times, too many times.